Guys, welcome back to another video. I'm trying to steer my wheelchair because my legs are in really bad way. Um, welcome back to another video. Today we've come up to see our daughter Jade um, up in Hertfordshire, and um, she's took us on like this little kind of woodland walk thing. Um, it's called the Aerodrome. Um, Heritage Trail, I think you said it was. Um, apparently there's a lake in the middle, but um, that's a bit better. Apparently there's a lake in the middle, um, but it's a nice day, so I thought why not? Um, like, we normally just do our travel videos, but I thought like it's a nice day to just film what we're doing today. Um, so I'll show you everyone else and I'll show you what's around us. So we've got Leonie's wheelchair. We've got Madison. We've got Kadia, who's got a stone in her shoe. <laughs> and then we've got Kenzie up there. And then we've got the star of the show, Jade. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> right, at Wall. Oh, the star of the show. Because it's where she lives. So. Oh, he's getting, Jen, uh, Jade, get, he's getting. He's getting grumpy because he, you're not. He's not the star of the show. Jade. Jade. He's getting grumpy because he's not the star of the show. I'm not. I was just having an It's just kind of like greenery and stuff. Apparently, Jade said there's a big lake in there. I'm not going too far. Uh, you can hear lots of crickets. These guys can hear them. It's a bit bumpy around it. But it's all like just, just like a nice walk. So, yeah, it's, it's looking quite pretty. Um, got some really nice places around where she lives it's just such a shame she, she's so far away from home um back down in the southeast but yeah we've been this is, they've got some lovely parks up here and stuff so we're just going to explore and see what's about and catch up with you in a bit so this is the one of them one of the lakes that they've got here but it's it's such a shame because it's just all overgrown. I don't know if Mum mentioned the name of the place, but it's called Ellen Ellen, Brookfield. Ellen Road Ellen, Field. Ellen Brookfields. Ellen Brookfields. Ellen Brookfields. Yeah. Well, look, you got the ducks there. There's little rocks over there. That's yeah, nice there's a little rockery over the over that side over there. I can't get my finger out of the way of the lens. <laughs> yeah, that's a lovely little place. It's really nice. It's good for joggers and stuff like that. I'm not sure if you can see the lake with them, but it's a little bit breezy, it's not too bad. But loads of signs there, danger deep water. But it looks like it's very, very overgrown. But another nice Sunday afternoon stroll. I don't think there's anything here. We have spotted a park. Yeah. 
we have spotted a uh, play park, so I think on the way back out we're going to take like let Kadia and that go in the park. Um, but they're all behind me. But it's a glorious day. Why not? The weather's been a bit hit and miss in the UK recently. Um, we've had rain. We've had thunder. We've had the only thing we haven't had is snow. Um, but yeah, we're going to see if we can find any other parks or whatever. And if I can, I'll try and get a, like more of a like view of the lake. But I'll have to ask Jade whether whether there is or whether it is just literally all overgrown. I think I saw like further ahead that you could actually see the lake, but I'm not actually sure. I'll see. Okay, so we were walking along, um, and we've just come across. Oh, I'm zoomed back in again, way too far, hold on. Yeah, we've just come across this, and I've not seen one of these before. This is really cool, go and try it, babe. Go on, I'll pull it up a little bit, that's it. And push it back down. I've never seen one of them before. It's Yeah, that's really cool. And they've put a dog bowl there as well, so obviously the dogs can have a drink. That's, that's really good. Yeah, it goes on for miles. It goes down that way as well. And um, down that way too. Ah, so Jade lied. She turned around and said that that was Ellen Brookfield. It's all. <laughs> And we just found out when we first turned up here, this actually used to be um, an airfield with its own runway and everything else. What we do on the way back round? I'll have a yeah, picture we'll of that yeah. and I'll add it later on. So what I'm going to do is obviously later on when I get home, when I'm editing this, I'm going to get some... I've done it again, haven't I? Another place I could have brought my bloody drone. So I'm going to get some aerial shots, but I'll have to get them offline now. Um, so, so you can see how big it is. Okay, that's odd. Well, why, you got all that grass. Why have you got a patch there? Patch there. Yeah, all the way up. Look. Maybe they were they maybe they were little secret things. Well, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Story of the land and air. Oh. 1933, the clubhouse buildings and recreational facilities were built, including an outdoor swimming pool with a high diving board, fuel pumps, and aircraft sheds. Completed the flying club. 1934. Oh, it goes all the way back. 1958. Yeah. The 1958, the comet halved to the time required to cross the Atlantic, doing so on its first attempt in the record breaking six hours and 11 minutes. Ah, the comet. Hence why most of the places around here right then are named comet. the roads. Yeah. Comet, Mosquito Way, and that. So, the de Havilland Aircraft Company, that's why it's called the de Havilland. So, when you enter Hatfield, it says on yeah. there as well de Havilland. That's why. It was acquired by. Hawker uh, Sidley, Siddeley. The de Havilland name ceased to be used in 1963. The Trident airliner and DH-125 were developed during the early 60s with the production of the lake. Latter, is that Latter? Yeah, Latter, yeah. Taking place at de Havilland's other factories at Harwarden. Mm -hmm. Arlington took over from British Aerospace, moving 1.8 billion square feet of production buildings and runway to make way for housing, offices and industrial buildings. However, the flight test hangar, the world's largest freestanding single span aluminium building was when it was constructed and the D. Haviland administration building was restored as part of the development. Right, you got it. Danger movement, aircraft movement, that's absolute. Oh, there was a plane in there. That's why the road Comet Way, Mosquito Way, it was not to do this. There was an old plane in there. Yeah. Somewhere in amongst it. Was it was called the British Aerospace. Yeah. It's 
skylark, longhorn cattle, owls. So I don't know what this bit is. Oh, cool. So this is, I presume, something to do with cattle. Um, there's just like troughs and that there. So I presume there's like, they let cattle in there maybe. Um, that's where they feed possibly, I don't know. All the noise in the background guys. I think there's some kind of football pitch or football stadium or something over there. We were wondering obviously what the noise was because we could hear a lot of people laughing and you know, having a laugh and a joke and, and it turns out there's a, is this a school? No, it's just a field. Just a playing field, is there's it? There's a football match over there. Ah, uh, and they're playing football. Oh, up there, you might be able to see. I don't know what you can see Please from up it. there. I think I pretty much do it. Uh, oh, it's fine, it's not good. Kind of see it. Yeah. No, it's not gonna. It's alright. Uh, he ain't gonna worry about you. Yeah. He's fine, he's just scared about the dogs. <laughs> so Lee said he heard growling in the grass. Um, I didn't hear it, the kids didn't hear it, Jade didn't hear it, so I don't know what it is. But now he's got his spirit box out because he thinks he's found some paranormal or something. <laughs> but I don't mind him having like spirit box out in the kind of open, um, but I totally and utterly forbid him to use it indoors because our house is already haunted and I don't want to encourage any other spirits. Not that obviously their maps are all like work and stuff, but I j I'm just very superstitious like that. But I just, our house is already haunted enough. We hear weird noises all the time. Things come flying off the sides. The electric meter come flying down off the cooker hood um, and everything. But our house is that haunted that when we went away once we asked jade to look after our house where do we go when we asked you to look after the house and you wouldn't do it you you went did you didn't you, you went to america for the first time was it when we went to america for the first well, time was like, oh. um and jade's anxiety was through the roof now she used to live there you know she used to live in that house and she's how old was you when you moved in there nine ten uh, 2013, no, I was about, yeah, 10 or 11, something. 10 or 11 she was, and she's lived there since she was like 10 or 11, so she was used to that house, but being in that house yeah, on her well, own. I moved out at 17, so I lived there for a few years. Yeah, so being in that house on your own was scary, wasn't it, Jade? Yeah. Like, it, it, it absolutely petrified her. She said, Mum, I can't do it anymore. She said, I really can't do it anymore. Um, so I told her, right, lock up, lock up the door, post the keys through the, like, the door and everything. And, you know, but she actually rung me in tears a few times saying, like, oh, I'm hear hearing this noise and that noise and everything like that. And it was just, yeah, she did get proper freaked out, bless her. But to be honest with you, I... I don't like being in that house on my own. Now I've lived there, Katie has lived there all her life and you often hear like weird footsteps. Um, there's been many a times when I've heard what sounded like someone coming down the stairs. Um, but then you kind of go, who's come down the stairs? And there's no one. So you hear footsteps coming down the stairs. You hear people walking up in Katie's room. You hear people walking in the landing. There's been a few... There's been an actual few times. Oh, yeah. One time in particular, when Lee was going to the toilet, um, he called out and said, who's on the landing? Because he thought one of the kids had got up because he got a notification. On, I think, did you get a notification on your phone? When you heard someone walking on the landing, did you get a notification on your phone? Yeah. He got a notification on his phone because we got a camera in the landing. Um, and he got a notification to say that obviously a motion had been detected. So he's sitting there and he's calling out and he said, who's there? 
what, who's out of bed and no one answered so I've said to him I said like who are you talking to and he was like there's someone in the landing so I've got up and I said there's no one there and he was like there was someone on the landing but there wasn't and then when we checked the camera we could see motion had been detected but you literally couldn't there was no one there there was literally no one there but he, he was adamant you heard footsteps weren't you yeah so but it's just you just have to kind of just get on with it to be honest with you whoever whatever it is in our house it's never harmed us it's thrown things off the sides and it's kind of knocked things over and moved things and everything you know but it's never actually harmed us and until that day then like we're not that bothered about it we've seen figures in the hallway and everything but yeah so we, we just take no notice of it now um we have kind of like activity ramp up and then we don't get nothing for a little while but we think it's a little girl um we think it's a little girl ghost um we've heard her talking before and we have to get up at night and we'll kind of hear talking downstairs we know full well there's no one downstairs but yeah it is quite spooky and that's why i ban spirit boxes or any kind of like like paranormal stuff in the house It's, yeah, I just can't be bothered with it all. So that's the explanation as to why I don't like spirit boxes in the house, obviously. Okay, so I'm stretching my legs a little bit because my chair's good, but I have to kind of keep my muscles going in my legs. So Jay took us on this trail and said that it just goes round in one big circle. Yeah, she's smiling down there because she knows. <laughs> and she's got us lost. So we're just hoping and praying we can find our way out and we've got to walk all the way back again because that was pretty bumpy in the chair. Mad's actually using my chair at the moment because she's having a lot of problems with her legs at the moment. Yeah, so we're going to try and find a way out of here. And... Um, it's not looking good. All we can see is just literally open. It looks like a bit like the savannah kind of thing. So apparently two minutes away. So hopefully we'll find a way in a minute. But I'll keep you updated as to whether we do find our way out. So we've stopped off at the park that we said we would so we're just sitting out here on the bench there's lee Mads in my chair jd ginger hair my ginger hair as she says actually it down <laughs> um and then the kids are playing in there kenzie and katie are in there <laughs> that bottle always I, I, scares me so. i've just knocked my bottle off the bench and oh and dented it all oh. so in a minute i think we're just gonna get the van i think we're gonna go and we're going to the galleria did you say it's actually five minutes from mine find some food find some food it's five minute walk from mine but then you might no 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 van. i think we'll just take the van the timing on the van yeah. and then we're not sure what we're gonna do after that yeah. we may go to the park i'm not sure depends on time and weather and that but it's quite nice at the moment isn't it so we've ended up in the Galleria, um, like, it's like a shopping outlet. Um, so we've ended up in the Galleria and we're currently in Waterstones bookshop. And um, there's quite a few books in here. It's quite a big store. Uh, we were just looking at like travel books and stuff. But Katie wanted to come in here, so we're gonna have a look around the Galleria, which is like just like outlet stores, like M and S outlet. Um, you've got like beauty outlets and stuff like that. Um, so we're just having a look around here, and then I'm not sure. I think we're gonna go and try and find some food. But Jade needs to go to Asda to see if her medication's done. Um, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. We are now in the van. We are heading over to the town centre to Asda um, to try and get Jade's meds. And then we're going to try and find some food, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing now um, because there's more food places up here than obviously where we live. So, we're doing. We'll find something to eat, but the 
trouble is it is Sunday, so but there's loads of like there's favourite chicken over there, favourite chicken, like pizza, Subway. There's loads of places. Over there. There's a McDonald's, McDonald's in Asda as well. Um, so there's plenty of places to get something to eat. We are now in Asda car park. No, we're not staying the night. We are. <laughs> Just getting something to eat because this is the only store I know other outside of America. Obviously, you can correct me down below in the comments if you if, if I'm wrong. But this has got to be the only one I know outside of America that has got a McDonald's inside Asda. Um, it's common in America, not so common out here. Um, so we're just having something to eat. Uh, have a quick snack. And then we're gonna. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna, we're gonna go to Aldi's. Go into Aldi's. Jade wants to go there. Jade needs to get some bits. Um, and then I suppose it'll be drop her back off again. And then head home. Yeah, and then make our way back home in, in all that lovely traffic that we normally we normally get. So wish us luck, guys. And we'll see you in a bit once we get to Aldi's. So we are now on our way home. We've just dropped Jade off. Um, I've got a splitting headache. I haven't had a migraine for over a week, which is unusual for me. But I suffer with migraines normally, but I haven't had one for over a week, so that's good. But now I've got one. But I think it's because the weather's changed so bad. Like it's oh, not so bad, what do you call it? Dramatically, yeah. so quickly. It's changed, it was like, as you see earlier on, it was like really nice and sunny and actually quite warm. Um, but now it's got cold and rainy and dreary and overcast. So we've got about a two hour drive, something like that. So we're gonna make our way home. And then we are going to prep the motor home, ready for going away next week, aren't we? So we are looking forward to that. So keep ch stay tuned and there'll be videos for night at home coming very, very soon. We've got a road trip lined up. Um, we've just got to sort out the finer details, haven't we? Yeah. But yeah, we've had a good day. It's been it's been a nice day. It's just a shame that the weather's changed, isn't it? But, so we will catch up with you once we are home. So we are home. We've been home. I think we got home about six, half six, was it? Yes, between six and half six, we got home. Um, Lee's already in bed. He's absolutely shattered. Um, unfortunately, that's what happens with him. Long day, and he's absolutely shattered. I'm literally just about to go to bed. KDJ's just about to go to bed. Kenzie's already gone up. Madison is still over there. And I don't think I'll be far behind any of them. But it's been a good day. Uh, I trusted Jade and she said it was a small woodland walk. Or what did she say? Woodland walk? Nature walk. Nature walk. But then it uh, transpired. Into like half an hour. <laughs> that it was more like a five mile walk so i'm so glad i had my wheelchair and i'm so glad lee had his wheelchair because that was a long long way round. and then it transpired that she didn't even know it went that far so we went the whole like loop of ellen was it ellen brook fields yeah ellen brook fields and uh ellen brooks to yeah, Ellenbrook Fields Nature Walk. <laughs> Sorry, and um... she didn't even know it was half of that was there. So that was a bit of a surprise. So I said to her, I said, where are we going? She was like, oh, yeah, just round here. It'll be fine. And then like 10 minutes later, we were no closer to the exit, was we? And yeah. We had to go through two gates. Yeah, we had to go through two of those gates, you know, like they kind of... Spring gates. They open one way and then you go through and then they have to close and you have to like, sort of go round them to sort of like get through. That was a bit of a pain with the wheelchairs, wasn't it? But they only had those gates because like in the evening, 
they have cows on that nature walks um so in the evening um and they open up the gates and just let the cows yeah but madison crashed in madison used my chair for a little while and crashed into lee <laughs> i think it was basically i think she kind of slipped down the hill so obviously she skidded on the mud and smashed into lee's wheelchair but like luckily we i didn't see what happened but obviously jade and kenzie and that saw and said no she didn't she didn't do it on purpose she literally slipped the wheelchair slipped so it was a bit of a bit of a nightmare but yeah it was a lovely day the weather turned out really nice didn't it the only downside is it, it actually turned horrible it's we like, had something to eat which was the best mcdonald's i've ever had in so the uk it's i think unusual for me to eat every bit so normally i get six chicken nuggets with chips and i ate and i never normally eat all of it i normally waste yeah you waste quite a bit now a lot of people think like why do you always have mcdonald's or why do your kids always have mcdonald's now for anyone that doesn't know the kids have autism and mcdonald's is their safe foods they they know what they're getting basically so they know what to expect they know how it tastes and they know they're not going to get any surprises although we did have one incident today with madison madison always has a double cheeseburger always has it plain with just ketchup and today i don't know what happened i don't know if it's because they were nearly closing or not they put onions in it oh my god i didn't think we was ever gonna hear the last of it but jay, jay took it and swapped it they wasn't gonna swap it at first but they did in the end but <laughs> so yeah they always have the same things every time we go to mcdonald's katie will have nuggets kenzie will either have a quarter pounder or nuggets won't he instead of just saying our whole order we just say normal yeah and then obviously madison always had double cheeseburger and a coke that is literally all she ever has um but they didn't have no milkshakes or anything like that so we are going to sign off for the day and we hope to see you very very soon in some motorhome adventures don't we so and we will keep you updated on where we're going to start our journey. So until then, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, stay happy. Bye, Bye guys.